Hello again everybody, today we will be discussing some MCQs on dental caries. Pioneer bacteria in dental caries are in Option A, enamel, Option B, dentin, Option C, pulp, Option D, cementum. The correct answer is B, dentin. The most pronounced effect on the oral microflora of a reduction in rate of salivary flow is a a significant increase in number of oral bacteria b shift towards more acidogenic microflora c significant decrease in number of oral bacteria or d shift towards more aerobic microflora the correct answer is shift towards more acidogenic microflora. Ammonia causes option A increase in plaque formation, option B increase in calculus formation, C decrease in plaque formation, or option D precipitation of salivary proteins. The correct answer is C decrease in plaque formation. Cavity formation in a tooth due to dental caries is due to Option A. Destructive potential of streptococcus mutans B. Destructive potential of lactobacillus acidophilus C. Lateral spread of caries along DJ and weakening of outer covering enamel or Option D. Masticatory force and is unrelated to the extent of caries process. The correct answer is lateral spread of caries along DZ and weakening of outer covering enamel. Animals maintained in a germ-free environment did not develop caries, fed on a high carbohydrate diet, is given by option A Gottlieb, option B Miller, option C Snyder, or option D Orland and Fitzgerald. The correct answer is option D, Orland and Fitzgerald. Which of the following factors in the Stephens curve is related to the dental caries incidence in sugar intake? Option A, physical form of sugar. Option B, frequency of sugar intake. Option C, pH of block. And option D, quantity of sugar intake. The correct answer is pH of plaque. Option C. Initiation of caries by streptococcus mutans is by the production of the Option A. Dextronase and soluble dextron Option B. Insoluble dextron and glycosyl transferase Option C. Soluble dextron and glycosyl transferase or Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option B. Insoluble dextron and glycosyl transferase. The attachment of actinomyces species to the tooth surface is facilitated by Option A. Fimbriae Option B. Cilia Option C. Flagella or Option D. Pseudopodia The correct answer is Option A. Fimbria. Caries associated with pre-eruptive enamel hypoplasia is Option A. Secondary caries Option B. Chronic caries Option C. Occult caries or option D incipient caries. The correct answer is option C occult caries. Bacteria free zone of dentinal caries is option A zone of decomposed dentin, B zone of bacterial invasion, C zone of decalcification, or D zone of dentinal sclerosis. The correct answer is option D, zone of dentinal sclerosis. Which of the following organisms is found in deep carious lesions rather than in incipient lesions? Option A, streptococci, option B, lactobacilli, C, valinella, or option D, bacteroids. The correct answer is option B, lactobacilli. Chemical parasitic theory of dental caries is proposed by Option A. G. B. Black Option B. Miller Option C. Gottlieb or Option D. Swartz The correct answer is Option B. Miller Miller proposed the chemical parasitic theory of dental caries. Early invading bacteria in carious lesions are called 
Option A. Microcosm. Option B. Pioneer bacteria. Option C. Advancing bacteria. Or option D. Anaerobic bacteria. The correct answer is option B. Pioneer bacteria. In a caries free individual, the saliva has A. Low buffering capacity for acids. B. Medium buffering capacity for acids. C. High buffering capacity for acids. Or option D. Buffering capacity of saliva is independent of caries incidence. The correct answer is option C. High buffering capacity for acids. The probable reasons for a high incidence of dental caries in the teenage population relates most directly to Option A. Rapid growth Option B. Frequency of sucrose intake Option C. Negligence in visiting the dentist or Option D. Carelessness in oral hygiene habits The correct answer is Option B. Frequency of sucrose intake The lateral spread of dental caries is facilitated mostly by the Option A. Enamel spindles Option B. Dentin enamel junction Option C. Enamel lamellae or Option D. Stria of Redzius The correct answer is Option B. Dentin enamel junction The enzyme glucosyl transferase secreted by Streptococcus mutans synthesizes glucans from Option A. Glucose B. Fructose C. Sucrose or D. Lactose the correct answer is option C, sucrose. Initiation of dental caries depends upon option A, formation of large amount of acid, option B, availability of carbohydrate food, option C, viscosity of saliva, or option D, localization of acid over tooth surface. The correct answer is option D, localization of acid over tooth surface. For a bacterium to be seriously considered in the etiology of dental caries, it must Option A. Exist regularly in the dental plaque B. Produce extracellular amylopectins Option C. Be lethal for gnotobiotic animals or Option D. Produce intracellular dextrans The correct answer is Option A. Exist regularly in the dental plaque Miller put forth the acidogenic theory of dental caries in the year option A 1890, option B 1920, C 1924, or option D 1980. The correct answer is option A 1890. The Streptococcus mutans is considered to be a principal etiogenic agent of caries because it produces acid and it Option A forms a gelatinous matrix. Option B metabolizes substrate from saliva. C derives energy from enamel constituents. Or option D lives symbiotically with lactobacillus. The correct answer is A. It forms a gelatinous matrix. Turbid dentin in carrier's tooth is all except option A zone of bacterial invasion. B zone which cannot be remineralized c zone in which collagen is irreversibly denaturated or option d zone that did not be removed before restoration the correct answer is option d zone that need not be removed before restoration which of the following tooth in permanent dentition is the most susceptible to dental caries option a Maxillary first premolar, option B, maxillary second premolar, option C, mandibular first molar, or option D, mandibular second molar. The correct answer is mandibular first molar, option C, because it is the first permanent tooth to erupt in the oral cavity. The least karyogenic is option A, raw starch. The correct answer is option B, apex to base. In the earliest stages of karyous lesion, there is loss of A, enamel cuticle, B, interprismatic substance, 
C. Organic matrix or D. Inmel lamellae. The correct answer is option B. Interprismatic substance. Oral foci of millers are seen in Option A. Dental caries Option B. Lichen planus Option C. Herpes simplex Option D. Syphilis Obviously, you must have guessed this is Option A. Dental caries. What is the pH at which initiation of caries begins? Option A. 4.3 to 4.5 Option B. 5.2 to 5.5 Option C 4.9 to 5.1 or option D 3.5 to 4.5. The correct answer is option B 5.2 to 5.5. Bacteria responsible for initiation of caries is option A actinomyces, option B streptococcus mutans, option C lactobacillus or option D streptococcus viridans. The correct answer is option B, Streptococcus mutans. The dietary carbohydrate most likely involved in etiology of dental caries is option A, glucose, option B, sucrose, option C, dextran, or option D, polysaccharide. The correct answer is option B, sucrose. Streptococcus mutans is involved in dental caries initiation. Other bacteria also involved is Option A, Streptococcus sarsinus, Option B, Streptococcus macai, Option C, Streptococcus sanguis, or Option D, Streptococcus salivarius. The correct answer is Option C, Streptococcus sanguis. The correct order of microscopic zones of dentinal caries starting from the DSA is A, zone of sclerosis, decalcification zone, and bacterial invasion. Option B. Bacterial invasion, decalcification zone, zone of sclerosis. Option C. Zone of sclerosis, bacterial invasion, decalcification zone. Option D. Decalcification zone, zone of sclerosis or bacterial invasion. The correct answer is option B. Bacterial invasion, decalcification zone and zone of sclerosis. The mnemonics for these will be found in the description below. Widely accepted theory of dental caries is option A proteolytic theory, option B proteolytic chelation theory, C acidogenic theory, D autoimmune theory. The correct answer is C acidogenic theory. The number of dentinal zones in dental caries is option A 1, B 2, C 4, D 5. The correct answer is D. 5. 5 zones are found in dentinal caries. Which of the following is cariogenic? Option A. Selenium. B. Strontium. C. Vanadium. D. Molybdenum. The correct answer is A. Selenium. In patients with reduced salivary flow, the carious incidence is A. More than patient with normal salivary flow b less than the patient with normal salivary flow c unaffected or d none of the above the correct answer is option a more than the patient with normal salivary flow because in the conditions where the salivary flow is reduced there is more predisposition to develop dental caries the extracellular polysaccharides synthesized by cariogenic streptococci in the presence of excess sucrose are best described as Option A. Mucopolysaccharide Option B. Dextran-like glucan C. Glycosin-like glucan or D. Amylopectin The correct answer is Option B. Dextran-like glucan Starch is considered to be less cariogenic than monosaccharides and disaccharides because it Option A. Does not diffuse through plaque B. Is rapidly hydrolyzed in the mouth C. Enhances remineralization D. Raises the pH in the oral cavity The correct answer is Option A. Does not diffuse through plaque Lactobacilli are numerous in carious lesions because they a. Are the main causative agent. B. Can produce insoluble extracellular polysaccharides. C. 
can attach to smooth surface enamel or D are secondary invaders. The correct answer is option D are secondary invaders. Thanks for watching this video. Please share and subscribe for more MCQs like this. Happy learning.